everybody. It is Carol. I am the creative owner and blogger behind Be Inspired Market. So as you're hopping on, say hi. I'd love to see you guys on here. Don't be shy. And uh, we're going to be doing a fun pumpkin fall decor. So this inspiration came. So if you guys follow on Instagram, and I say that all the time, we have a giveaway once we get to 500 viewers. Um, we have a giveaway for the Buffalo Check Pillow. And so if you go there, that's kind of where all the stories happen, the behind the scenes. So yesterday we went to Hobby Lobby and I love Hobby Lobby. We used to live so close to it and we don't anymore. Um, so not that far, it's only 15 minutes or so, but uh, so much inspiration. And there was a lot of pumpkins that had a lot of texture. That's the look this year. Texture, texture, texture. Um, so when I was thinking of a fun DIY project, I was thinking, okay, well, that's what I want to do. I want to do a pumpkin, and I want it to have a lot of texture, and I wanted it to be fun. So um, Bill is watching comments. My comments, of course, are not coming through. So hi, if you're saying hi, I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see it. Um, and we're going to try to do the two camera thing. So hopefully it's going to cooperate, cooperate, <laughs> cooperate with me tonight. So again, say hi as you guys are hopping on. I love coming on here and doing these DIYs. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and let's get started. So let me see if I can get the camera on here. So it's always less. Is there anybody on, honey? Because I really mm -hmm. can't see. Okay. Laura says hi, Carol. Hello. Sue says hi. Regina says hi. Debbie says spread the honey already. Ah, thank you. Mary says hi. Sarah says hello. Sandy says, hi, Carol. Happy to catch you live. Oh, yay. So and exciting. Margie Jenkins says, hi. Hi, Margie. Now, I love you guys coming on. So we're going to be doing a project, and really all you need is like two or three products. So this is the pumpkin that we're going to use. This is like a paper mache. I, I guess that's, I don't know. It's kind of hollow. It was at Hobby Lobby. It's called their Fall Crafts, and it's a pumpkin, and it's 9.75 by 7.5 inches. It was $9.99, but all their four fall, God, I can't talk tonight. <laughs> their fall decor was 40% off. So this came a little over $6, about $6. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working on. Then we have, this is very thick twine. Um, I didn't see, I got this from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if Amazon has it. So as you guys know, I always love posting projects on Amazon because that's kind of where I shop. Um, so if you comment the word info, Bernie Bot will send you a message and then he'll send you all our information. So um, this is really thick twine that we're gonna use. Then we have thinner twine. So this is like that really thin one that you see. Again, Hobby Lobby. The second camera's not working. It's not working? No. You guys don't see the second camera? I see, oh, huh. Now it's gonna work. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't Brenda done said, we can't see your products. I'm sorry. Margie oh. says, how's the weather? Oh, Laura, we're good. Laura Barlow, Artie, she spreaded the honey. Oh, thanks, Laura. Um, I'm sorry, guys, I had the camera on the wrong thing. Um, yes, we are fine. We are perfectly fine. Thank you so much for the messages and the concerns, and we are just as concerned for all of you that are affected by Dorian, but we are fine. We are in the Tampa Bay. We, we felt a breeze today, which was refreshing, if anything, um, but... You know, we just pray for everybody on the East Coast with flooding and things like that. And, of course, everybody in the Bahamas. Um, but, yes, we appreciate all the concerns. So that was great. Uh, okay. So now you guys see the camera. <laughs> Let me uh, – I'm just a hot mess here. Super clear tonight, too. Is it? Yeah. Good. Okay. So this is a pumpkin again. I'm going to repeat myself. <laughs> pumpkin, $9.99. It's 40% off at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, like I said – Tons of stuff out there, 40% off. So we got this, so a little over $6. This is the twine that I'm using. Um, it's more like rope. I mean, I shouldn't even say it's twine, um, but it's really thick. So again, this is Hobby Lobby. Uh, I don't know if Amazon has it. If, I do, if it does, I always post um, in the Amazon store. So if you comment link, BernieBot gives you all our information with our blog and all that, all that fun stuff. So 
uh, but you gotta answer them back. <laughs> so this is really thick rope, and this is kind of similar to that rope that they even have at the Dollar Tree, but we're gonna use a lot of it. So the ones at the Dollar Tree don't come very, a lot of it, so you would have to pr probably purchase more than you should. So you're better off price-wise for this. Then you have the really thin twine, so we're gonna do that. And let me do, if I can do the camera a little closer to my hands, Let's see. So you guys can kind of see more of what I'm doing. I, I think we can see it perfect, actually. Okay. Okay, so now we have the twine. That's what we're going to use. I got these burlap leaves at the Dollar Tree. Those were also five. We may or may not use this. I'm kind of debating, but we still have it. So this is going to be a lot more gluing <laughs> than anything. But like I was telling you guys, everything at Hobby Lobby was um, texture, texture, texture. That's all it was. So, and as you guys saw, if you're following the page, and if you're not, hit my face, like I always say, and a little bell comes on the bottom, and just hit follow, and then hit the bell, and it notifies you when we go live, which we do try to do two lives a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, so anyway, I just posted that, that post about the, the rope. So that's kind of trending this year. So let's get started so you guys can see what's going on. All right, and then we have our trusty glue gun, which I have on. So what we're going to do, and I think is going to be super fun, and I've cut some of these already out so you guys can see. All I did is I took the twine, and you guys can see, and I'm taking it and measuring it, okay? So and cutting it. That's really all I did. And the way this is going to work is I'm going to put the twine pretty much all around this. That's kind of the look that we're going for. The twist to it, it's funny I say twist, <laughs> um, is that we're going to do, so let me show you. So let me put this to the side. So here I have, I took, again, three of the thinner twine, okay? So that's what that is, the thinner twine. Again, the length of it is the width of our pumpkin, okay? So that's what you do. So then you take three of them, and this is where I thought was really cool. Um, again, a lot of this inspiration came from Hobby Lobby, but I kinda, this, I just did my own twist on it. So I'm making a knot putting all three of them in there. You want all three. Let me do that again. And my thing is spinning. But picture's clear, everything is good, thumbs up. Thanks for spreading the honey. And if you have questions, Bill has to tell them to me. He's nodding his head. <laughs> You're frozen, that's why. I'm it's frozen. Spinning. It's just spinning. Is it really? Mm-hmm. The small screen is frozen, and the big one is spinning. Hmm. Is that what you have on yours? No. Oh. Okay. Mine is showing that it's going. Check your phone. All right, guys. I don't know why we always seem to run into technical difficulties. Thumbs up or anything if you guys can see the video or if it's frozen. Because if anything, we no, can. I think it's just me. Might be just you. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, it's just it's just. This oh, maybe laptop. it's the laptop. Yeah. Maybe close out of Facebook and then go we'll back see. in it. Okay. So now all I did is I took and made a knot. That's all you want to do. And then this is where the fun part comes in. And I'm not doing all of this because I'm obviously I made some ahead of time. You're going to braid it. You're going to braid it just like you braid your daughter's hair. So we're taking it and creating a braid over over, so you need three of the thin twine, and then you're just braiding it. And so on the pumpkin, there are like seven grooves. So I'm going to put two of the braided twine in each of the grooves. So I needed 14. <laughs> so Bill's Every, catching up. Everybody said you're good, so. Oh, good. Okay. Not, not spinning here, Mary said. <laughs> good. <laughs> Hello from Kentucky, Marla 
Welcome, guys. Chris, Chris is looking forward to winter. Anita said hello from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Well, oh, we wish. safety. Yep, prayers yep. for you, Anita. That's I don't know how that's going to end up, but yeah. hopefully it keeps going uh, east. East, yes, absolutely. Chris yeah. just hopped on. Welcome, Diana guys. Diana spread the honey already. And guys then Laura great. said, Noah came out of school and said, Mommy, the storm moved. It's missing Carol. Aww. And Bill. No, Aww. I added that part. <laughs> it's missing Carol. His teacher said he was worried about this girl, Carol, Aww. all day at school. <laughs> Aww. Noah is, for those that are new, Laura, uh, Laura is Noah's mom. And it just warms my heart because he's our... He was actually somebody who watched early on, and he has been our super fan, and he's just he's just adorable, and he's just the cutest thing, and always concerned, and I just I just love him. So Brenda said hello from Texas. Okay. Margie Welcome, Jenkins, guys. Margie Jenkins said, "I'm painting my Halloween, my Halloween that I cut it out." Oh yes, yes. So we had when we went to Goodwill. There was a really cute Halloween sign, and Margie has the magic machine. <laughs> so Margie cut it out. So if you guys check that post out, uh, check out, talk to Margie. She Pam said, not spinning in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Okay, so as you guys can see, all I did was braid the twine, okay? And I'm going to do one more for you guys, but I won't make you wait. I did a whole bunch of them yesterday. This project takes a little bit, but trust me, once we're done with it, I think it's going to be worth it. It's going to be fun, and it's going to be your own. So you can do whatever you want. If you don't want to braid it, you don't have to braid it. I just thought the braiding would add some more texture to it, and that's kind of the look that I'm going for. And it's going to be muted, but I've got a tip for you guys, so hang tight on that too. So I got the glue gun. Oh, actually, honey, I'm going to need a glue stick. Hmm. <laughs> it stinks for you. It stinks Does for it? me. The... Is it the big one, or yep. are they all the same size? No, it's the big one in the, on the desk. <laughs> he always makes that face. I am usually very prepared. Uh, yeah, I guess. I am. I am. Yes. So hopefully you guys give this a try. If you're new, comment newbie. I'd love to welcome you. Top fans, you guys are awesome. Oh my gosh, this craft room is a mess. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys spreading the honey and stuff. Like I said, we're really trying to keep to two oh, lives a week, if so not more. Right um, and then just trying to launch the blog. That's, that's been my goal, is to get more of these projects. A lot of it is to get these projects up there so that you could just have them. Here's your glue sticks. <laughs> Thanks, honey. I might need more, but we'll see. It's a lot of gluing. All right, so you guys get the idea. You're taking this and you're braiding it, okay, as tight as you can. And you need 14 of them because there's seven grooves in the pumpkin. And you can do a smaller pumpkin. You can definitely, um, this one just was seemed the perfect size. We're going to put two of them on our... Um, in our dining room. Sharon said, hello from Minnesota. Oh, welcome. Margie said, I like the braided look. Yeah, I think the braided adds a really cool texture to it. We I got really a do. newbie from Arkansas. Oh, welcome. And uh, Margie said, I spread the honey. What is that, Margie? Is that a cocktail? Is that like <laughs> a... <laughs> no, it's a honey pot. Oh, I thought it was like an old fashioned, you know, like I don't even see drinks. it. And I know you guys put the honey pot. I thought it was like an old fashioned drink or something, yeah. you know, like the old fashioned, like, no, honey. Well, I just wondered. <laughs> um, okay. So that's what we have. So we have the braided and what I wanted to show you guys too. Okay. So this is the look that we're going to go for. We're going to take the two braided pieces and that's going to be what's going to go in the grooves. Okay. And I wanted to show you guys. So I kind of fell in love with, Me? <laughs> believe it or not, yeah, that a long time ago, honey. Um, Rit, the dye, okay? So these are little packets. You get them at um, Michael's. And these aren't the tablets. So these are just an actual packet. All I did was take some of this and sprinkle it in some water. 
okay? And I didn't, I didn't measure, I didn't do anything. I just put a little of the black and some water and I mixed it up. This is the cool part because this is gonna be muted. So this is obviously gonna be all burlap and, and just a muted color. But I do have black and white going on. So my other pumpkin I may do a little different. But this is the cool part. Did you guys know that you can dye twine? Because I didn't. <laughs> and I tried it and it works. So this is this. This is the twine in its natural color. I took the twine and I put it into the dye bath and I let it sit there for a half hour. And then you pull it out, you run it under cold water so all the dye comes out and then you have black. But I mean, guys, you could do that with any color. I mean, I don't know what colors are, are trending really right now. Um, I think they have orange, you could do orange. I'm gonna be doing black because what I thought would be cool is taking it for the other pumpkin and doing two black twines and then doing the neutral color. So just another idea, but I thought it was super cool because I didn't, I didn't know. I thought I had the dye actually for another project and I was like, huh, I wonder, because it was so muted and I was like, I don't know if I want it muted, but we're gonna go with that. So you need 14 of the braided and then, I, <coughs> excuse me, I counted, I'm gonna need at least nine, about nine, and we'll see as we're gluing, of the thicker rope. So, I did cut those out as well. <laughs> but that, all you're doing, again, you're going from the top to the bottom and cutting. I think I need three more. And then just use one as a template, cut it, and then cut Diane another said one. she likes the black. Isn't the black cool? I mean, it just adds a different look to it. And seriously, it was just, I mean, this whole packet, it says it's 1.1, 1 .1, or yeah, 1.18 1 ounce, eighth of an ounce. And I barely used any. I just put a little bit in there and some warm water, and then I let it sit, and then it comes out black, which is just super cool. So, so yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. So I have to share that. Okay, let's try to put this together. And then we will attempt to make a bow. Who thinks I can make a bow? <laughs> Nobody's commenting. Nobody's commenting. Okay. I have to definitely work on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the glue and just put some on here. Just enough. I mean, it's obviously the killer glue gun. Okay. And then the part that has the bubble or the thing is on the bottom. The knot? The knot. And this part up on top, I'm not really too concerned with because we're going to cover that up. And you're really just getting it so that it, you guys can't see that, um, right below the little, I don't know, little dimple right there because it's going to lay anyway. Margie said, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I can do it. So again, you're just taking the glue. So like I said, this is more gluing than anything. And if we do half of it, we do half of it. So what are you guys most excited about with the fall? Candy. Can you're <laughs> Bill's excited about candy. Pam said, you can do it. Oh. I have these little sticks here so that I can get, somebody gave me a trick too, maybe some of you have seen it, um, where, you know how where you see the glue? You can take a um, blow dryer and then you can go back and blow dry it and then it's supposed to take all the glue away. Okay, let's get some of these on here. But like you guys can see, it adds, again, that's gonna be sitting so you're not even gonna see it, but it adds a different texture with that braiding. And if you don't like the braids, you can definitely not do the braids. I'm just putting a little on there as we go along. So let's get this one on. Sunny said hi from Southern California. Newbie here. Oh, welcome. Okay. Now you're just taking it down. Be careful with the glue. I'm so burning my hands right now. All right, let's see if I can do this a little different. That's not skin coming off, I promise. There we go. 
All right, I think I'm going to put the glue on the pumpkin. I think that might be the better method. If it was paint, it would be all over. Oh, the glue is all over right now. <laughs> okay, let me get this. I think Lori, Lori Scott said, I'm excited about bonfires with my redneck friends. Oh, there <laughs> you go. <laughs> all right, we're going to do it this way. Oh, here we go. Another question about the glue gun. Oh. Sue Campbell says, I'm curious. Is that a cordless glue gun? Yes, it is. When I use mine, it takes both hands to squeeze the glue out. No, uh, this one Sue is Sue Campbell, cordless. I'm guessing, I don't know if you're new on here or not, but I'm sure a lot of other people on here watching could answer that question. Carol can answer it too, <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of others can answer that question too. Yeah, this glue gun is from Amazon. If you are new and you comment info, um, it's in our craft supply list. But it is a killer glue gun. It's a Ryobi cordless glue gun. And if you order it on Amazon, just remember you have to get the, the battery. The battery and the charger are separate, right? Yes. Or was the char did the charger come with it? No. The battery, battery and, the charger and charger are, are separate. separate. This is actually the better method, guys. You guys saw. I see it dripping down in the stem, though. That's okay, right? That's okay. okay. Yeah, because that's all going to get... There's no way we're going to get through this whole pumpkin, but yeah, that is the better method. Nancy so, said, put the glue on the pumpkin yes. and then the twine on it. Yes. It'll save your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy, that's what you just figured out. Yeah. That's what I just figured out. I was, I was, yeah, I was dying over here, but Carmen yes. says, howdy. Hello. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah. I always said I wasn't going to sing. I'm not going to sing. And then what do I say? I'm not going to say stinking cute. <laughs> so, so stinking cute. So stinking cute. If you follow us on Instagram, um, make sure you guys go over there because we do have a giveaway if we could get to 500 followers. But if you think our lives are fun, our stories are funnier. Ooh, Cynthia. Cynthia lives in a cool place. Where does Cynthia live? Cynthia Robinson lives in, uh, first of all, she's a newbie. Welcome. And she's from Orange Beach, Alabama. Oh, we love, love Orange Beach. Love it. Yes. I surprised Carol years ago, and uh, we were supposed to go to Nashville. And that's fun. Nashville was fun. Or is fun. It's a fun place. But um, she didn't know, but I just told her to bring her suit and a beach towel. And, uh, yeah, we ended up in Orange Beach, Alabama. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. I hadn't been to the beach in forever. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a beautiful area. We love it there. We rented a boat, went out on a boat for a day, and it was just nice. Went to all those little kind of, I guess, uh, intercoastal islands type of thing. So you guys see how it's coming together? Isn't that cool? Thumbs up. You guys liking it? Like I said, we probably won't be able to do the whole pumpkin, but you guys are getting the idea. But you can definitely do the, the black in between. But this is definitely the better method of... Somebody just said, you need an assistant placing the glue while... You, oh, placing the... What's that stuff called? Jute? Jute? J -U oh, the jute while I go. Just yeah. keep going. Yeah. I don't, Actually, know, who, you know I don't what? know who would be able to do that. We're going to do this. That's a, I'm, I'm doing what one at a time. Doing? This is a killer glue gun. Here we go. Where do we find an assistant? <laughs> Okay, this is actually the better method. Cynthia said, how fun. Just Wait, make Cynthia, sure. Cynthia, how fun for you because you live there. Yeah. That's funner. So I put the glue on there. More fun. I was kidding. More fun. Nobody call me out on that. <laughs> and then you're going through. And like I said, all the extra. There we go. So you could put more. Sometimes I try to be a little too careful. Okay, so you guys can see how it's coming together. Isn't that cool? And it's got all that texture. So now I'm going to put the two twines. Oh, Cynthia just said, my son is a top chef at Fisher's in Orange Beach. Ooh. Cynthia, I don't know if we went to Fisher's. I don't, I didn't, I don't remember where we ate. We stayed at the, um, the hotel we stayed at was the, the Marriott, right, uh, right on the beach. 
I know that. It was like literally right across the street from the beach. They would yes. take us. They would take us every day over in a golf cart. And it was beach. hot. Oh, and it was really hot. I forgot when we went, but it was hot. When the back of your hand is sweating, just starts dripping in sweat. You know it's hot. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's. But we, but we stopped at that one. What was that one bar called? Pirates something maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember. It was just a little place right on the water. All right. The okay. most you can do is like three of these. But you guys get the idea? Thumbs up on this? Thumbs up? I'm still talking with Cynthia about it. <laughs> you can tell. He likes Orange Beach. We live close to the beach. We're yes. Just, we're just outside of Tampa, so we're only about an hour from the beach here in Florida. But if anybody's ever not been to I'm Orange Beach. It. Look at that. And like I said, the top I'm not too worried about because we're going to make a really pretty bow, and we're going to put it on top. But it dries. And one thing that's nice about this pumpkin instead of, so if you buy one of like a different one that's colored, I would definitely paint it unless you want the orange showing through. Because what's cool about this is obviously some of them aren't butted up to each other, but you can't really tell because the color of the pumpkin is the same color as the jute. But you could always go back and just fill it in with a piece of you jute. You could. You could definitely fill it in. So I'm doing two at a time. <laughs> Margie Jenkins said, keep talking. I want to go to Orange Beach. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely fun. Trisha says, I'm in Pensacola. Ooh, Pensacola is nice, too. <laughs> it is. I, did, I don't think we went. I think we boated. We boated there like we crossed over into Pensacola, yeah, Florida. Yeah, I don't remember. I think. Okay. See, these cool, the glue gun, look how much you need. But this is definitely a good one to have for this project because it's definitely sturdy enough. No, that, Cynthia just said, it's a high-end restaurant that he works at. And she said, she, wor she works right across the street from that hotel. Oh. Also five and 10, I don't know what that means. And she said, I know the bar you're referring to. Yeah, I think, Cynthia, I think that little bar you can only get to by boat. We got there by a boat. I forgot what it was called, but they tasted like a, uh, it almost tasted like a cho chocolate Slurpee kind of, remember that? Mm -hmm. We had two of them, and I wanted to take a nap. <laughs> and we're not big drinkers, but I had two of them. Well, now we don't even drink at all. Yeah. So we had we wanted to uh, with all this hurricane stuff. We were like, oh, okay, let's have a glass of wine. I had two glasses of wine, and that was it. I was loopy. I was loopy. <laughs> but I'm trying to think. So, like, even with this pumpkin, if you wanted to maybe do the rope the other way, you could do that. Um, there's just so many ideas. Like I said, you don't have to do the twine. Holy. Just be careful with the hot glue, guys. <laughs> the hot glue can be pretty hot, especially <laughs> with this one. What? Hence the name hot. Hot glue, glue gun. gun. <laughs> yep. Trisha called it. That's exactly what it is, Trisha. Bushwhackers. I was just about to look it up, too. It's bush. Cynthia, it's bushwhackers. <laughs> they come in a plastic cup, and then you grab your drink, and it was really hot and sweaty in the bar, and I don't like a like a little shack kind of. And then I don't I don't even think they had food to be honest. No, they but. had food. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the twine in here to make room. So again, I'm just putting the ends at the end. The ends at the end, and then. My braid is going inside there. So who's going to try this? Is anybody going to try this? Is there something fun that you guys are doing for your fall decor? This is actually coming. And like I said, all the excess you can just cut off because all you're doing right now is you're just trying to cover the pumpkin. How does it look on camera? Good. I'm looking up the name of that place. I don't. I think the drink was a bushwhacker. Okay. But that wasn't the. Well, you keep doing your thing. And Isn't I'll that have, cool? I'll have my conversation with, <laughs> with Cynthia. And, uh, I forget who else that was. See, and like I said, the ends you're just gonna cut, so that you don't want it too bulky. But that's kind of what the look we're going for. So you guys want me to keep going? Are we good on time? So we can maybe get to. I might get it done. We're good on time. 
I appreciate you guys coming on and watching. And if you are new to the page, what Bill's supposed to be telling you, but right now he's looking up bushwhackers. No, I'm not. I'm looking up Fishers. <laughs> um, Fishers at Orange Beach. Cynthia, we did eat there. We ate there. That's where we ate there, right on the marina. That's where the boats were, and all the guys were coming back from fishing. Oh. The big sport fisherman boats? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Carol. <laughs> um, just hit the video, and then you can uh, like our page, give us a follow, and thank you for spreading the honey. You never know when you're going to get happy mail from us. But like I said, this was inspired from all the projects. If you go to Hobby Lobby, they have so many cute pumpkins, so many cute decorations. That's, I mean, you know, sometimes people ask me, like, where do you get your inspiration from? And a lot of it is seeing other projects out there and then putting my own spin on it or my own touch. Like I said, how cool is that to take the black? I mean, I didn't see that anywhere. Take the black braid and put it in there, you know? Um, and again, it's making a DIY. So the, the pumpkin was from Hobby Lobby, if you're just joining, and it was $9.99 with 40% off. So what does that come out to? Like six bucks. And then the twine is Hobby Lobby as well. And your best bet with Hobby Lobby, I do it with Bill all the time, take a friend and use two coupons. I'm going to need more glue guns. Okay. <laughs> Didn't I bring you two? I thought you did too. I thought you did. Oh. Okay, I'll get another one. Don't stress. <laughs> I just got to go back in that messy craft room. It's not that bad. It's the bad baby. People, it's that bad. I, I could see comments. I can't even see the comments. <laughs> uh, oh, it's bad. Oh, my. But so far, so good. Oh, my. Well, like I said, up bad. there, you don't really have to worry because that's going to be covered. <laughs> you get lost in here. You could get lost in there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'll put it on this side. Okay. It's probably somewhere here. I don't even know. Uh, I'm sure it is. Okay. Or it fell on the floor. Or it fell on the floor. I don't think so. I can't believe you went through two already. Well, it's a lot of glue. Definitely a lot of glue. Okay, I got to get back to the comments. <laughs> You're slacking, Nancy's, honey. Nancy You're slacking. Said, Nancy said the black really does pop. It does. I Like I said, I bought two of these. So I'm going to do... One of them in the neutral, and then I do have like a black and white theme going on. So if you haven't checked any of our other posts, we did a really cute pumpkin sign. Uh, we've done a buffalo check tray. What else have we done? We've done a mason jar pumpkin. Um, just trying to see. And then actually Thursday, our next live, what I think what we're going to do is I have my dining room table that needs to get redone. Right now it's got summer and I'm going to change it out. So every season I like to come on here with you guys and share some ideas on how to change up your centerpieces. Ow. So that's what I think we're gonna do, unless something changes. But like I said, if you hit the video, um, it will tell you when I go live. That Cindy said, where is the black? The black is, if you're just joining, so this is twine, so this is this, and what I did was I purchased Rit, it's called Rit, you can get it at Michael's or any craft store, and I put some, just a couple, I don't know, a little bit of it into um, water, and then I dyed the twine for just 30 minutes. Carmen had a good idea. Hmm. She said, I was thinking about painting it teal and using the twine in the ribs. Yes. Just the twine. Yeah. That's cool because it would look totally beachy. Yes. Sold, Carmen. Yes. I'll take one. Yes. That look, that's a good idea, too. Diane that's said, awesome. no Hobby Lobby near me. Oh. She said, I'm jelly. <laughs> Hobby Lobby does do online. So. Sue said, one strand of black in each braid yep. would add a little more texture without taking away from the color scheme you're doing. Yes. True. Yes, and that's what I'm definitely going to do for the other one. Absolutely. 
I didn't dye enough of them, but I just literally kept it in there. But, I mean, like I said, if you don't like the twine or the, the braiding, you don't have to do the braiding. You can do just regular. But the possibilities are endless. And like I said, this is what this page is about. It's about inspiring you guys to, to try your own DIY projects. And I love how everybody shares their ideas. It's just so fun to come on here and post and you guys always sharing. It just, I just love that. I said it's, I have glue everywhere. We're actually almost done. Cynthia said, I've never even eaten there, meaning Fishers, I'm assuming. Mm. How do you not eat at your son's, where your son's a top chef? <laughs> and just so you guys know, the Bushwhackers, you can get them at Pirate's Cove. That's probably why we went there. That's probably why we went there, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I like pirates. <laughs> my arm, this is my workout, ladies. I don't know about you, but this is a workout and a half with all the glue. But look how it's coming together. I think we'll do half of it, and then you guys get the idea, because we've been on for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yeah. So I'm going to do just half of it. And then I usually finish it off camera and then give you guys the, the reveal. So let me just get this. So super simple. Like I said, use your own creativity. Do what works for your decor. And then we'll put a little bow on top. Leah says hi. Hello. Why am I singing tonight? <laughs> Hello. I sound like I'm singing. Because your fingers are all burnt up. Oh my gosh, my fingers are so burnt up. Uh. Margie said, I think it looks awesome. Thanks. Diane said, very cute. How about some thumb? Oops, somebody just gave a heart. Oh, good. How about no some mad faces. Up? Yeah, no <laughs> mad faces. If anybody's no doing No mad faces. We didn't get any, did we? No, I don't know. I haven't been watching that. Oh, that part. thanks, honey. Cynthia said she loves it. Thanks. Hi, right, Cynthia. Go to Fisher's tonight for dinner. <laughs> Cindy said, is the pumpkin paper mache? I think it is. It yeah. is. Because it's that brown and it's hollow. Um, it looks like paper mache for sure. Okay, we're going to do that. Then we're going to put the braid in. It takes a lot of glue and a lot of twine. But the end result is what's so cool. I'm not gonna. <laughs> what's that meme that goes around about crafters and their finger their fingerprints that they lose them when they use the hot glue? It's just crazy. Mary said hello from Kentucky. Oh, welcome. You guys are awesome for spending your Tuesday here. It feels like a Monday, but it is a Tuesday. Okay. Okay. So like I said, all you're doing is then you go around, you're going to clean the top up, as you can see, and then your bottom, again, it's going to lay flat, so you're not going to see what the bottom is. But definitely cut it and trim it just because you don't want it to be, you know, lopsided and things like that, okay? Oh, my God, I'm making glue. So then what I thought with the top... Okay, so just imagine that's done, okay? You can do a couple things. You can take the twine. Let me move this to the side because I'm going to be working with that later. You can take the twine, and then again, you can wrap it around. Let me get it started. Leah said, it's the, it's the Monday, the Monday is Tuesday ever. Yes, it is. Yes, I agree. <laughs> yes, I was laughing because it's so funny. I saw that today. Somebody posted that and I thought it was funny. And then Le Leah also said, she's full of comments tonight. That this Leah, this Leah Collins, mm -hmm. Valentine. She said, I saw them at Hob Lob last week. Yes. Oh yeah. I think Carol There's came, a... I don't, I, I think Carol bought out the store of these. I did we not. I only bought two. Uh, I think you have more. No, I have two. I've been in the craft room. No. So, again, we'll play with that. But I thought you could just take the twine and you can put it around the little, uh, what is that, stem. Put that. 
to get that glued down. Sherry here. said that's a cool look. It's a very, like, it is trending. Like, rope and all that is so popular right now. Okay, so now you can see that's the look that you're going for. Real rustic. And then I said with these, let's see how that looks. But these are from Dollar Tree. So these are those burlap um, leaves. Let's see how that looks. Oh, got Leah it. said it's pronounced Lee. Lee. How are you spelling? How are you saying it? Leah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Leah. I guess I'm fired now. <laughs> or I need new glasses. I do need new glasses. This is actually paper mache. I wonder if it'll poke through. No. There's no. nothing funny about pronouncing somebody's name wrong. No, I know. No, she said. She oh. said it's pronounced Lee, L O L. Oh. Okay. So you can do, like I said, these are kind of big. You can cut them down. But I like, what I like about them is they have this wire in them. So you can, you know, kind of put them up like that, put them down however you want. So that's just another look. Again, that's why I told you guys this part, you'll cover it up, whether with a leaf, whether with a bow. So the bow that I made earlier, because I have to practice my bows, <laughs> I made this one, which has a little of the buffalo check. All I did is I took, this is, this is dollar store ribbon. I love this ribbon. Um, this was from Michael's, and this was from Michael's again. And then this is some raff, raffita. And I made a cute little bow. And again, you can just put that on there. Actually, let me get the camera up so you guys can see. Donna said, cute. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Lee said I'm not fired. LOL. You're not fired. <laughs> so like you guys can see, it's got the bow right there. Um, you can just, again, you can do whatever you want. And then, like I said, all this is going to be sitting, so you're not even going to see that. And then you can do the leaves as well, if you wanted to do some of the leaves sitting up. But... That's kind of what you're going for. I mean, you're just going to go around the whole pumpkin. You're going to... Lynn said, hey, first time. Oh, nice. It's so cute. Oh, good. And like I said, mix it up. If you don't like the braids, you can do the, the braids are in there. You could do um, thinner twine if you wanted. I love the color idea. I'm definitely going to be trying that out on the next pumpkin. But again, it just gives you something neutral. You just put these up on your buffets. Or, I mean, they're good size, so you need to put it on a good size. Um, it's not something I would see on a coffee table. I would see it like a centerpiece maybe in your dining room table or your buffet in your dining room or something like that. Um, but super easy and super cute and very inexpensive. I mean, if you count the jute and everything, we probably did it for 10 bucks, if that. So, so that's it. I hope you guys Were enjoyed it. Were you going to make it. a bow? Time out a second. I made the bow. I made it earlier, honey. <laughs> you said you were going to make a bow live, I thought. Because yeah. somebody, everybody said, you can do it. I can do it. I did Margie, it. are you still on? You were the first one that said, you I can did do it. I did it. We're 42 minutes in. You I did it. You can do it. it. Um, so this is my version of a bow. It's just a couple of strands of uh, ribbon and put on there. But as you guys know, always follow the page. Hit the video. Make sure you guys spread the honey. You never know when we have happy mail. Um, and then we'll be live again on Thursday. But look for some posts. I'll have this all finished up off camera. And then I always like to post a finished product for you guys to see since you guys were kind enough to come on here and keep us company while I do this DIY. So, all right. I will call it a night and give my fingers a break. Oh, oh my Sue, gosh. Sue said uh, two different size twines for the wrapping. Yes. That's not, yeah, just to give it a little more texture, too. Yeah. yeah, you can do, you can alternate different ones, absolutely. There are so many possibilities, so many. Or like Phyllis I said, said, a polka dot ribbon in the grooves would be cute. Oh, yeah. I love polka dots. That's another yeah. thing. That's exactly it. it. It's to inspire you guys. I would love to see your projects. You well, guys Monica know. Monica just said, I'm answering, I'm doing oh, I'm my sorry. job. Monica said, cute, cute. Where did you get the pumpkin? Oh, pumpkin is Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. So, but yes, if you guys recreate this, definitely message the page or just post on the page. I love to see your guys' um, versions of things that we create and how you put your twist on it. Um, it's always fun to see. Margie so, said, thank you. You're always inspirational. Oh, thanks, Margie. Is there any more questions? Um, wait, there's 
they're popping through. Come on, somebody's got some. Lee, no questions. Lee, <laughs> Lee come no, on. I think everybody's good. Now's your time to shine, Lee. All right, I'm okay. gonna go watch the Cubs game. I appreciate your guys' time, and we will catch you again on Thursday. All right, bye guys. Have a good night.